Welcome to Psychology to Daf. We are in Gemara Moed Katan Daf Test, and today we're going to talk about an interesting Gemara about women and beauty, and about feelings, not about logic. So the Gemara Nomad Bays discusses various forms of women's cosmetics and beauty practices, both in the light of what is permitted on Chola Moed, as well as a number of anecdotes regarding the ways in which rabbis' wives and daughters beautified themselves. It's obvious from this Gemara and its extensive details that the rabbis were cognizant, respectful, and downright supportive of the natural human patterns whereby women, single and married, enjoy dressing up. We discuss this idea elsewhere in Psychology of the Daf uh, in Tainus Daf Yud Gimel. Today I will focus on a particular incident and a teaching that comes from this Gemara. The Gemara relates that Rav Chizda's wife would adorn herself on Cholomoid in the presence of her daughter-in-law. Now Rav Huna Bar Chinana said before Rav Chizda that she should not be allowed to dress up. We only permit women to put on cosmetics and cholamoid because it'll bring them joy. And she's already much older, so why should it bring her joy? But Rav Chizda said back to him, Buy yellow kim, even your mother, and even your mother's mother, and even a woman so old that she's standing on the edge of her grave, are all permitted to adorn themselves. As people say in the popular adage, a woman of sixty years, like one of six, runs at the sound of a timbrel, which is some kind of musical instrument. Now, Rav is countering Rav Huna's point. He's stating that women of all ages, even the most elderly, want to look beautiful. His proof is interesting. He does not offer a scriptural citation. Instead, he quotes folk wisdom. What is he really saying? The phrase is, a woman of 60 years, like one of six, runs at the sound of the timbrel. It seems to me that Rav Chista is tapping into the truth of subjective emotions. He's saying a child and an adult both like to dance, as it's a basic human response. It's not rooted in any kind of logic. It's just a human pattern of experience and behavior. So, too, he's saying to Rav Huna, don't tell me she's too old. She doesn't feel too old. She enjoys dressing up the same as her youth. It's not about the logic. It's about the feeling. And so it is her own agyamtiv.